and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so, per usual, because I suck at consistency sometimes, um, it's been a hot minute, like a really hot minute since like last semester and school is about to start again, um, since I filmed anything. So I'm just going to kick it off. I know it's a little late in the month, but I'm still going to go ahead and do like my July favorites. Um, so yeah, I am hoping, like fingers crossed, that I have everything set up now. Um, things are just kind of good to go. And so there should be more consistency with my filming. Um, I've also started a Twitch channel, which I will leave the link below, or I will magically use the power of video editing to add it in here. But um, I hope you guys have had a really great summer. And yeah, I can't wait to start moving forward into the future. Uh, if you guys want to see any particular videos, particular videos, English, um, just let me know below. Um, I do want to film some new tutorials. Um, it has been a few months, so as you can tell, uh, there are some changes. Like my hair, per almost every video, I feel like is different, but I really like the way that it looks right now. So I think that I'll keep it this way for a while. It's just, you know, the black to silver ombre. And um, one new addition is I got my septum pierced. I actually just got it done. Gosh, has it been a week yet? No. Yes. Got it done last Monday. And it is Thursday. So, yes, it's been a little bit over a week. Um, but I got that done. And I'm supposed to start on my Legend of Zelda sleeve. Uh, it was supposed to be at the end of this month, but due to my work schedule, I couldn't do it, so I'll be, I'll get that done September the 4th, which I also hope to start vlogging daily like I've planned to do in the past for you guys, so hopefully you guys can just come along with me. And then also, um, for any kind of like behind the scenes things or kind of what I'm doing on the daily, you can follow me on Snapchat. Um, my Snapchat name I'll have listed here and then linked below. As usual, anything that you have questions on, whether it's what I'm wearing or makeup or just anything like that. Um, that will all be down in the description bar along with links to my other social media platforms. So don't forget to check those out. Also, don't forget to subscribe. That just encourages me to make more videos and we're almost at 3,000 subscribers, which is awesome considering me sucking at my consistency. So that just encourages me to make more videos and don't forget to give this a thumbs up. But enough of my rambling. We'll continue on to the video. As usual, at the end of the video, if you guys wanna stick around, there are more cut scenes of me being silly, stupid, you know, more than I usually am, so look forward to that whole thing. Yeah, anywho. Starting my favorites off, um, I wanted to start off with skincare. This isn't necessarily just like face care stuff. This is um, that I'm doing this month uh, for the July favorites. This is going to be body care. I love Lush and one of the things that I really like when I have got the time to indulge <laughs> is to take a bath and so these are products that I'm going to show you guys that I repurchase a lot and this is for me like the best combo for a really relaxing, soothing, like de-stressing bath. So the first thing is going to be the bubble bar because um, you know that's what you're going to put and run under the faucet as the bath is running in order to get the bubbles. And this one is the French Kiss bubble bar and I really love this one. It's got lavender in it. That's like the main smell and if you guys know me and if you have followed me for a long time or you know if you've watched old videos that are no longer even available to watch because I have them all in private, <laughs> you'll know that I love the scent of lavender and so if you love lavender then I would highly recommend this bubble bar. Again, it's a French kiss. If you don't love lavender then I would recommend staying away from it but I literally can't get enough lavender in my life. For the actual bath bomb, this is the Blackberry bath bomb and I don't know if it's going to pick up but it says bomb on it. and. Um, it's just like a really soothing kind of blueberry scent. Even though it says blackberry, to me it smells like blueberry. Maybe it's a mix, I'm not sure. Probably should have looked at the detail work on that before I started filming, but you know. <laughs> I really like this bubble, bubble bar, this bath bomb. And as you know, this is the part that gets fizzy and turns the bath pretty colors. And this is like the fireworks show of the Lush products for your bath. Last thing is the Dreamtime Solid. So again, it says Dreamtime on there if it picks up. Boop, boop. So this is going to be kind of a bath melt. It's going to make your skin feel really good. It's melting in my fingers right now. These are one thing um, during the summer if you do purchase these. I don't necessarily recommend ordering these because again, it's like melting just in my fingers. But yeah, that's my like 
perfect concoction of a good relaxing bath and I will again list those below and then kind of bullet point them over here so you know what they are um, but yeah so if you like to take baths or if you're a Lush fan and you haven't tried those out definitely try that combination out because if you're wanting just a really soothing relaxing night those are a good combo to go with we're gonna go right into hair care which I really only have one main hair care deal this time because I'm trying to eliminate the amount of products that I have in these videos if you guys want to see longer videos just let me know and I can go in more detail but I feel like the more products I have the more I want to talk about the products because you guys know that I love education so anyways uh, one product for hair and it is the style sexy hair this one is a 450 degree protection it's got a level 7 shine and a level level 7 hold so it's got good shine and good hold to it um, but yeah this is just going to be a heat defense spray like if you're using a lot of flat irons blow dryers curling irons things like that you definitely want to protect your hair uh, if you wear extensions it's really great for your extensions too because again your extensions are not attached to your head as far as like getting the nutrients and things like that so you definitely want to take extra protection and extra precautions with those it's really easy to spray it into dry hair section by section set it with hot rollers or a curling iron and then this can also be used on damp hair so if you need something that's kind of like multifunctional like you don't want to have like a blow dry spray and then a heat protectant spray this is kind of like a two-in-one and again it's style sexy hair which is by big sexy hair uh, you can get it anywhere basically um, but I will leave an actual direct link below to where you can find it pretty easy that way you're not like browsing the internet for it for five hours or going to stores or whatever again I have everything linked down below guys so don't worry about having to find it Next, I want to um, dive into beauty, which I, when it comes to summer, um, I wear a lot of eye makeup and I don't wear a lot of foundation. Like right now, you guys that have followed me forever know I'm really, really big on primers. Like that's my thing. I'm like, you want your makeup to look good, prime the shit out of your face and you're good to go. So just like right now, I have two primers on my face. Well, technically three, but one of them is more of a moisturizer, so I look at it more as a skincare than I do a primer. But um, I have three of them on. I've got an all-over face primer, and then I have a specific under-eye primer as well. And then I just have concealer on my under-eye area. I put a little bit on my chin, a little bit on the tip of my nose. Other than that, during the summer, all I have on is Max. Um, mineralized powder as my foundation so I'm not really big into wearing a lot of liquid makeup during the summer um, I also live in Arkansas and it's also very humid here so that's part of the problem is that it's too not to wear a lot of shit here which I mean if you wanted to MAC does make some you know sweat and humidity is humidity resistant um, foundations but for me I'm just like I feel like I can't I can't breathe. It's the winter time for me where I'm like caking my face up. So I don't know. This video I just went with lips. I'm trying to make an excuse as to why I only did lips, but it's because like mainly during the summer I'm like focusing on my lip color, I guess, more than anything else. And um, there's some days where I won't even wear a lot of eye makeup. I'll just do like a little bit of wing liner and be like, I'm done or something. Anyways, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. I don't want to butcher it but the last name is Volley so it's Gambatista Gambatista I don't know we didn't even have these at the store long enough for us to tell people what it was because literally people were rushing in to get them and they were gone within like a couple hours at most I really like these two lipsticks from that collection if you're a makeup junkie you've seen these all over the internet um, people went crazy over this collection I do have all of them but these are the two that I really like the most. I feel like they're the easiest to wear. And all of the lipsticks are the same color as their tube. But this one is Tats. I don't know if it's actually showing up correctly. But if you missed out on this collection, if you're like, oh, I, I didn't get it. I'm so upset. This is really close to like Candy Yum Yum or Pink Pigeon from MAC. So don't freak out too bad. Like, you know, if you're a package junkie like I am, then yeah, definitely it blows that you didn't get it. But... The color, as far as that goes, we have so many similar things to it. Eugene, which this one is a deeper kind of like plum shade, which this literally, it's this one right here, which again, I don't think that this is picking up true, at least from what I can tell on the camera, 
but this literally looks, the Eugene color looks just like Rebel. Like, just like Rebel. So the two colors that I really liked out of the collection, they're the ones like, I feel like you can just throw on and not really have to sit there and work with a lip pencil or anything to kind of get them to look a little more uniform. But these two, which is the Tats and the Eugene, and again, the Tats, which is the lighter pink one, that one's really similar to Candy Yum Yum or Pink Pigeon. And then the Eugene looks literally just like Rebel. So if you like those colors and you're like, oh, I miss that collection, those, um, can be picked up at any Mac store at any time because those are colors that we carry all year round. That was kind of like my fun lips. My go-to lip is the half red lip pencil. Uh, I think you guys have heard me talk about this before. Oh, it's upside down, excuse me. There we go, half red lip pencil, which it is this color here. I love it. And um, then the Viva Glam 5 lipstick, which is this little guy right here, and it is a luster looks like that. This combo in particular is what I have on right now. It is the half red lip pencil which I outline the top of my lip and the bottom of my lip and then I fill in most of the bottom of my lip with the half red and then I go back on top with the Viva Glam 5 but it's one of my favorite combos. It's one that people always ask me what I have on and so yeah I figured I would feature it because I have been wearing it a lot this month. Another thing about our Viva Glam lipsticks is as you know Every cent of the sale of these lipsticks goes to the MAC AIDS Fund, um, which is a really great cause. And then if you're a huge fan of our Viva Glam lip glosses, like the Viva Glam 6, which is gorgeous and it goes perfect with Viva Glam 5, um, they're discontinuing them, so get your hands on them while you can because they are beautiful. Uh, so yeah, anyways, there's the makeup portion of this month's favorites. And the first thing that I have is my Legend of Zelda snapback. I love this guy. I got it last year, I believe, sometime from Hot Topic. And yes, I keep my snapback original whatever sticker on there because I'm so gangster like that. If you follow me again on Snapchat or Instagram or Facebook or anything like that, I have this cap one all the time because I love it. Uh, literally one of my favorite caps. I go running and I wear this cap a lot because I my hair back and I just like to have my ponytail through this or if it's a day where I don't really have a lot of makeup on I have it like down over my face like this to where no one can see me but yeah so I love this cap and you know I like anything that is going to have anything to do with Legend of Zelda or any kind of like you know fan fan base stuff that I like but cha I this is my this is my buddy we are we're best friends he accepts me when I look my worst and he accepts me when I look my best so like boyfriend material right here but yeah I've been really liking hooped earrings if you see me any pictures like mainly you can see the hoop going on but the reason is is my ears are stretched out like that's my finger through my ear um, but yeah so since my ears are stretched like hoop earrings are really easy for me to put underneath the plug itself and or the jewelry whatever I have in and so I can wear something that looks a little bit more feminine with my stretched ears and yeah. Um, anyways, it's kind of like a fashion piece that I really like. Hoop earrings. You know what they say, the bigger the hoop, the bigger the... The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask for the 3DS. And yes, I played this game originally on the N64. Um, I really, I like the concept of the game, I like all of the different game theories behind it, like is Link dead, is he not, is he just going after Navi, like what's going on, you know, I just, I like the open interpretation of that. It's been remastered, they upped the graphics, the moon is absolutely terrifying now, uh, if you've never played Legend of Zelda, this is a really good one to start with, and it is out on the 3DS, and yeah, definitely check it out, um, it's a little bit more of a dark take on the Legend of Zelda series so yeah it's really interesting I don't really want to like run the game for anybody but yeah and that is it for my July 2015 monthly favorites I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and like I said before don't forget to subscribe below looks like I've been working today mm -hmm. 
And yeah, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to holler at me. Again, all social media links and all in kind of info on what's on my face or whatever is down below. And don't forget to give me some video suggestions. I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of the month. Uh, I will be filming more. Definitely my birthday is next week. So there's some fun things coming up and I am going to be trying to vlog. Again, I hope you guys have a great month. Don't forget to believe in yourselves no matter where you are. I say it all the time. It's like one of my favorite quotes ever. And if you guys know where that quote is from, um, the whole thing is like, believe in yourself, do this, and no matter where you are, you'll have nothing to fear. I love that quote, and if you know where it's from, without Googling it, leave it down below. Um, but yeah, so have a great day, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye. Then it's that moment that, like, you forget to mention something, because I totally, I totally have this for my month's favorites. Oh well, better luck next month, buddy. I lost my train of thought completely. Chris? Like Chris Lightstrips? No.